All right, nerds, we're doing it. We're just getting it all done today. Naruto Uzumaki, Tamashii Nations. Tamashii Nations, SH Figure Arts, baby. Finishing up the team today, except for Kakashi, of course. Doesn't come out until May. Super action, super modeling, Naruto. What are we talking about? Sorry about that, somebody was yelling. We got the Japanese writing on the wall. Simple style and heroic action. Ages 15 and up. Oh, dang it. I'm not old enough. I'm only 10. All right, same thing. We're gonna just keep all the, everything in the plastic because it just makes it easier for me. Here are all the heads that he comes with. Classic head or like angry head. We got crazy head. We got yelling head and then we got demon fox head. Then he's got open hand. Ninjutsu, finger, pointy, whatever. More pointy, fisty hands. Well, these are actually gripping hands with a kunai. And two open hands. One hand for the Rasengan. And a pair of cross-folded hands. Looks very really good, looks very really good. I can't wait to use that Rasengan. The folded arm is pretty good touch, too. For only 30 bucks, too. Not a bad, not a bad deal. Okay, we're gonna peel. We peeling them. Oh yeah, this is why I think that Sasuke I bought is was a return because he didn't get any of these peelies on him. But everyone else did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, here he is, Naruto Uzumaki out of the well oh, his foot's a little jacked up, but Naruto Uzumaki out of the package. We're gonna be quick about it because we already know Naruto. We know the color scheme. We know that he's got blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah, actually pretty good. I like the way the hair kind of drips over the um the headband there. The headband looks really good. Nice shiny metal. The whiskers look really clean. Very clean paint detail on this guy. Gotta love it. My hands are really shaky right now. I just had some coffee. Headband, logo on the back. You can see a little bit of paint defect right there. It's lacking in the black, but it's okay. It's not too noticeable. Wrinkles throughout the suit. He's got one zipper. They all got a zipper, I just realized. Team 7 is a team zipper. Team jacket gang. A little capri, little capri action. His sandals make sense. The most are actually all black instead of like Sasuke where he's got like the heel sticking out for no reason. Looks really good. I like his little kunai pouch. His little sandwich pouch where he keeps the sandwiches. Right? That's his sandwich pouch. Something like that. I don't know what this is for. Like a little bolo tie. A little... Little, little bolo tie. Yeah, not a lot going on, but this is a pretty sweet figure. Like you can already tell. It's like a, based on a cartoon, so it's not a lot of detail, you know. It's like a Marvel Legend kind of, but better, but better. Believe it, believe it. I'm better than a Marvel Legend. All right, I'm gonna ch show you how to change the face really quick. So this one's a little different from the rest. This one you just pop the head down, slide straight down. Boom. You don't take off the head. You get the face, you slap it on like so. And then for the Rasengan, you pop off, looks like this hand over here. Bam, pop it off. Pop the one with the hole in it. Pop the one with the hole in it. The hand with the hole in it. Me hot and how hold it. If you know, you know. So there, and you get the little peg. Pop it in there. Uh-oh, didn't go in all the way, pause. There we go. And boom, you got your Rasengan. That looks actually pretty good. Yeah, Rasengan. And change face. Now we're gonna show you how to do the arms because we wanna make sure that you're ready. So you pop off the arms, boom. They're really easy to pop off, but I would grab them from here and yank from here. You know what I mean? Put the arms forward so that you can get them. And we're gonna put the folding arms on real quick. You just gotta plug them into the hole. One, two, and now look at him. I thought I told you not to touch my action figures. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Now let's go over articulation real quick. My boy looks up about that much. Pretty good. His neck can move also, kind of, sort of. A little bit of a mm, 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 mm going on side to side. Rotates, of course. Kind of hard to do because the way the neck is, it goes all the way up under his chin. 
Um, we got the butterfly joints that rotate all the way around, of course. Then we got the ball joint shoulder that goes up, rotates all the way around. It looks kind of funky because this isn't going with it, but it just moves around with it. Um, we got the bicep swivel, of course. Double jointed elbows that go up pretty far. Got the wrist rotation, of course, that goes side to side or rotates and then up and down. Up and down. Real good. We got a diaphragm joint, same as always. It rotates right here. Goes up. Goes back pretty far, too. And then he goes forward pretty good too. Like I said before, the joints all under here and it's all just connected by one piece of one tube, I think, and then all this is just plastic shell. Um, so it does rotate up here. Legs go forward that much. They go out this much. They got the thigh cut, of course. Double jointed knees for sure. Got a boot cut up here, so that's nice. Foot goes up, foot goes down. It goes side to side. And we also got toe articulation. I don't think I went over. All the figures have toe articulation. Bing, 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 bong. Okay, ready, nice. All right, and you know how we do size comparisons. We're just gonna show off some Marvel Legends real quick. Average male and female bodies. Uh, Japanese Spider-Man and Gwen Stacy, Ghost Spider. Sorry, I forget her name. Yeah, looking real snazzy. Real, real, real snazzy. Real jazzy. All right, and then busting up the random imports again. We got SH Figure Arts, um, Lucario, Figma Link, and Figma Solid Snake. So she's showing how they stack. I actually have a picture of these two a long time ago, like 2014, like almost 10 years ago, of the original SH Figure Arts Naruto fighting this guy right here. I'm gonna probably put it in right now. Right now, it's gonna pop up, hopefully. And here he is next to SH Figure Arts Gohan and Vegeta from Dragon Ball Super Hero, the new movie. Looking okay, real, real, real good. SH Figure Arts gang. All right, and here he is next to the rest of our Team 7. I think it's Team 7, right? I, I've been saying that, but I don't know for 100% sure. But, yep, the gang's all here. All we need is that Kakashi coming in May. Coming in May! All right, final thoughts on this guy. I'm not gonna lie, he's pretty fire. He's probably, no, I wouldn't, uh, I think I like him a little more than Sasuke, only because, you know, the character itself, he's just way not annoying like Sasuke. But, um, yeah, I think if you're trying to get into SH Figuarts, or if you're into Naruto, I think this is the perfect way to start your SH Figuarts collection. He's the cheapest one, you know, he's in abundance, so you know he's gonna be like, you know, he's gonna be everywhere right now, so you might as well pick him up before he skyrockets in price. You know what I mean? You don't wanna pay $50 for a figure that's only like $30 right now. So I'd hop on it real quick if you're a Naruto fan. If you're trying to get into SH Figure Arts, now's the time. If you're tired of playing with the Bandai animated hero figures like the Dragon Stars, it's time to upgrade, buddy. It's time to upgrade into some SH Figure Arts. And that's what we're doing. We're upgrade upgrades, people. Upgrades, people. But yeah, I got really nothing else to say other than I love it. You might love it. Go get one now. <clears throat> Anywhere. Amazon, if you need to. I only like buying off Amazon, but sometimes, sometimes you just got to. My boy's about to freaking new jitsu all over you guys. But um, I'm rambling now. So I'll see you in the next one. A deuces. A deuces, my friends. You my friends.